hired on in, in 1989 as a firefighter and brand new paramedic, I, I was inundated. I was like, this is the best I don't ever want to promote. There are careers and there are callings. After more than 30 years with the Clark County Fire Department, Chief Greg Castle is pretty sure his path was meant to be. If I was to sit down in, at, at 21 years old in 1989 and script out a 30 year career, I couldn't have wrote it better than it went. Castle promoted quickly, eventually joining the department's technical rescue team, also assisting Metro's elite search and rescue unit, all while becoming captain and eventually battalion chief. During these years and under his leadership, the department itself evolved, partly because it had to. 9-11, he says, changed everything. Clark County developed an interagency fusion center, improving communication and logistics between first responder agencies and federal authorities. And they talk about counterterrorism stuff and threats that evolve and threats that are taking place at, on, on real-time parameters. <laughs> One October, he says, is a memory that will haunt him as it will many Las Vegans, but he is also proud of how his department handled the event. Prior joint training with Metro, he says, likely saved lives. And these people had never met, these officers and firefighters had never met, but they did exactly what we trained them to do, and they went off and did tremendous things. For his part, Castle says he'll miss his firefighter family and serving the community, but the department itself is strong and in good hands. He looks forward to the next chapter. There's a lot of great projects that are still, that are gonna outlast me, uh, that are gonna make the community safer, that I've transitioned all that stuff to the new fire chief, and uh, um, I'm, I'm good to go. Yeah, he'll be missed uh, for sure. Much more of my interview with Chief Castle posted on our website, including his take on the increasing suicide rate among firefighters. Now, the person who will replace him is uh, his longtime friend and the current deputy chief, John Steinbeck. He also has more than three decades of service here in the community. All right, Gerard, thank we're, you. And thank we're in good hands going yeah. forward as well. Yeah, absolutely.